our final introduction tonight comes from a 2015 Hall of Fame honoree, Mr. Mark Dankberg. Hey, good evening. Our final on honoree for this evening is an entrepreneur who started out selling equipment to the oil and gas industry. When a new law deregulated the energy market, he founded the Thermo Companies with $40,000 he and his wife made from selling their home. He talked his former employer into helping fund the construction of a cogeneration plant. It was the first of four plants he would build and the beginning of a series of companies he would found or acquire in natural resources, industrial equipment, real estate, telecom, and financial services. Then, in 2004, in what has to be one of the most uh, outrageous and boldest moves in the satellite industry, he bought a bankrupt satellite phone company called Globostar because he thought that lower prices and better service could turn it around. Three years later, sales had risen more than 120%, and he soon invested and raised more than a billion dollars to launch second-generation satellites. He also introduced an affordable handheld tracking and messaging device called Spot. Now in its fifth generation, Spot has users share their location data, send short messages, and hit an SOS button to call for help from practically any place on Earth. To date, it's racked up nearly 5,000 rescues on land and sea. A satellite Wi-Fi hub called SatFi followed, which now features its own SOS button. The company's satellite phone technology is a staple of disaster relief operations and helps track aircraft and vessels around the world. With an entrepreneur's sharp eye for value, he has helped save lives, improve lives, and make the world a safer and more prosperous place. SSPI is proud, and I'm certainly very pleased to induct into the Satellite Hall of Fame the founder of the Thermo Companies and the chairman and chief executive officer of Global Star. Mr. James Monroe III. Thank you all for the welcome, and it's obviously a privilege uh, to be given this award tonight for my little part in, uh, in making SPOT a reality. Ten years ago, uh, we embarked on an opportunity to redefine our little segment of the satellite industry. What we wanted to do was make inexpensive products that could track people in environments where they had no other solutions to do it inexpensively and in the process hopefully save lives. We were ambitious in the sense that we felt we had to deliver this device for $100. Um, we did that. Uh, today, we manufacture spot for about half of that. The products are sold in 10,000 points of retail distribution globally, and there are hundreds of thousands of them in people's hands. Acceptance of this device um, was gradual. Uh, between the initial release of spot in 2007 and in 2000, by 2015, um, we had amounted 4,000 rescues, um, which is more or less 8,000 people. In the last year and a couple of days, um, that's been 1,000 additional rescues. So the pace is picking up um, because there are hundreds of thousands of people carrying the devices now. And there are multiple generations of them, and spot one is still saving lives today. It's also worth noting that when we introduced the product, it was not universally embraced by the search and rescue community because they were fearful that um, this device would uh, lead, you know, dilettante hikers and others um, into harm's way and they'd press the button and the actual people that were there to save them um, would be endangered. Ultimately, it's become a boon to the search and rescue community. Um, they, they recognize now that, uh, to use their parlance, it is taking the search 
out of search and rescue. And that's huge. That's huge for everybody. Inside Global Star, we have screens that display the number of rescues, and that ticks up every day. Currently, it's at a rate of three times a day. And indeed, there are literally thousands of people walking the planet today uh, that would be dead um, were it not for this little $100 device. And whether it is those people or their families, um, clearly they're alive because of SPOT. So I conclude tonight by thanking everybody here, um, recognizing the folks that are on the podium that have been past recipients of a similar award um, and the new honorees tonight. Um, and I appreciate everybody's attendance. Have a terrific evening.